So approaching the boxing ring, Zolisani Ndongeni. The man from South Africa brings to the ring a 34 bar professional record, 31 wins, 18 of them inside the distance, and three defeats. Looking to get back to winning ways after being outpointed in his most recent outing at the start of July. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Dapro Pajalovic as he fights out of the gold corner, Damai Gaspada, Papri Vistvuyen, is Rasi Kharitwon Agarba. His opponent is 27 year old Hariton Agarba. 2019 European Games silver medalist at 69 kilograms. Brings to the ring a perfect professional record, 11 fights, 11 wins, 7 of them via the short route. Ladies and gentlemen, we're underway with your IBA Champions Night. This round, uh, this bout is officially scheduled. Bet round up for three minutes in a welterweight 67 kg matchup. And is brought to you live and exclusively on PRV Canal. Ladies and gentlemen, our official sponsor for the evening, Liga Stavok. Your five judges being represented here tonight ringside from the International Boxing Association, Tajikistan, Azerbaijan, the United Arab Emirates, Kyrgyzstan, and, uh, and Moldova. And finally, when the action begins, your referee in the center of the ring by the bell, representing the IBA, the home of global boxing, by way of Serbia, with referee Jovana Ukrenovic. Tonight, 33 years of age, standing at a height of 173 centimeters tall, weighing it officially at 67 kgs. He enters the ring tonight with a professional record under his belt. 34 fights, 31 victories, 18 of those coming in by way of knockout, and only three losses. Presenting our two-time South African champion and the reigning WBF IBO World Welterweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Maneni na maneni nikas, Omeli, Umzanz Africa, Engo Polesani, and Dogeni. And now, introduce his opponent, fighting out of the goal corner. He enters the ring tonight, 27 years of age, standing at a height of 177 centimeters tall, winging officially at 66.95 kilogram. He enters the ring tonight, holding a professional boxing record, a perfect professional boxing record, 10 fights, 10 wins. Chase Nokatov, ladies and gentlemen, presenting your WBA Continental Super Lightweight Champion of the World, the Mai Gaspada Papri Vistruyum is Rossi Khariton Agarba. The stage is set. Our fires are ready. Referee Jovana Ukrenovic will now be giving her final instructions to the boxers. Head up, no holding, no low blows. Listen to my comments. Good luck. Thank you, Obama. So there's the tail of the tape. You can see graphically only three centimeters purported to exist between the 1.76 meter Hariton Agar Agarba and the 1.73 meter Zolistani Ndongeni. But if you believe your eyes, well, it appears to be a far greater disparity in height. We're underway in the 67 kilogram welterweight division. Five three minute rounds between Zolistani and Dongeni wearing black trunks trimmed with gold. 33 years of age, brings to the ring a professional record of 34 fights, 31 wins, three losses. 18 of those wins coming inside the distance. The man. Out, operating out of the southpaw stance on the front foot immediately the taller of the two boxers wearing white trunks trimmed with gold is Hariton Agarba 27 years of age 
he looking to extend his perfect record of 11 wins out of 11, seven of them coming inside the distance for a 64% knockout ratio. Second outing of 2023 for Agarbat. And his most recent victory coming against a, a compatriot of Undongeni. That was against Prince Blomo. South African national champion getting his man out of there in the sixth round of a scheduled 10. And that was in Yekaterinburg and he's finding the range immediately here against Ndongeni. South pole left with a scoring shot from Agabab. And then again, he's having more success during that battle of backhands. Ndongeni looking for the right uppercut. Again, the orthodox and south poor battle, ring space and control of the territory by getting the front foot on the outside is crucial. Left hand over the top is a scoring shot, turned it into a left uppercut. Did the south poor Agarba? The right hand is an antidote to the traditional south poor stance. And Ndongeni looking for that right hand, but it's rather more circuitous than the more direct backhand of Agarba. 50 seconds remaining in this opening round. Tucking up effectively behind his gloves and then look at that movement with the head bobbing and weaving to make Ndongeni miss. Here's a nice sharp right hand against the south four from Ndongeni. Right jab to the body is short from Agarba. It's Agarba who just gives the impression that he's dictating the terms of this contest, backing up his man towards the ropes. Good movement from the head from Ndongeni to make his man be inaccurate with the lead right hand. But again, that battle of front feet, that angle showing it terrifically as Ndongeni commits to a right hand, couldn't quite find the range. Agarba. He got onto the front foot, just gave the impression that he was able to maneuver Ndongeni to the area of the ring where he wanted him. Ndongeni, an experienced operator, of course, no stranger to fighting a hometown favorite on the road. For my money is Agrabat, Hariton Agrabat, who did enough to take that first round. I mentioned the fact that this man's opponent, his previous opponent, was Prince Glomo. Prince Glomo, having been stopped in the sixth round by Agarba, Prince Glomo stopped Zolisani and Dongeni in the sixth round of their contest schedule for 10 back in October of 2017. Of course, styles make fights. But the one common opponent that the two men share, this man was bested by him, stopped in the sixth round. The man in the opposite corner stopped Lomo in round number six. So into the second round then, Zolisani Ndongeni facing his third opponent with a perfect record tonight. 0-2 so far. One of the men he faced with a perfect ledger was a certain Devin Haney. Won his first 25, then traveled to Shreveport, Louisiana to face at 25 and 0 to face the 20 and 0 Devin Haney, who was then ranked number eight in the world by Ring Magazine. Showed incredible spirit and gameness in dropping a unanimous 10 round decision against Devin Haney and Devin Haney of course has since gone on to become the undisputed lightweight champion of the world he remains undefeated but that the first loss experienced by Zolisani Ndongeni showing his willingness to hit the road and travel in his 34 fights Two of them have been in the United States, one of them in Nicaragua. That's where he lost last time out over 10 rounds to the other man that he's faced with a perfect record, the 10-0 Ernesto Macardo. Here he is facing the 11-0 Hariton Agarba, who's just having success with 
and Dongeni finding himself pinned on the ropes once again. Here he's trying to get on the front foot and work his left jab, but you can see it's coming back on a circuitous route via his belt line. And having seen Agarba previously, remember 2019 European Games silver medalist at 69 kilograms, losing against the eventual champion Pat McCormack of Great Britain in the final. McCormack going on to take Olympic silver in Tokyo two years ago. That gives you an idea of his qualities. He won four out of five contests to claim that European game silver, but he assesses situations very quickly, does Agar, but makes adjustments. Oh, beautiful slip to the side, then left hand to the body from Agar, but And you see the way he was able to work his way in there, shimmying and shifting his body left and right to get into his own punching range and drive that shot into the body. In some respects, he brings to mind Dmitry Pirog, the outstanding Russian who inflicted Danny Jacobs' first defeat, had to retire because of injury. He's now a figure in Russian politics. But again, the almost unconventional manner in which he moves and the difficulty that opponents have in tagging him cleanly. Hadgabert demonstrating similar qualities in these, the early stages of his professional career. Closing seconds of the second round, and again, Dongeni continuing to compete, but that's been the majority of his offensive output so far. He's just been made to miss. They've gone long, they've gone short, and he hasn't really, really been able to land cleanly on a consistent basis against the incessant movement of Hariton Agarbat. Some of the action from that second round. Beautiful use of the left hand, countered by a left jab from Ndongeni. But during that exchange, the man in white trimmed with gold getting the better of it because of his heavier punches. Ndongeni almost turning his back on his opponent. And as he squared back up, when he presented a full size target, was touched up repeatedly by a variety of shots from Agarba. <laughs> So into the third round then. Dolisani and Dongeni. From South Africa. Grew up in Duncan Village in East London. In South Africa, a place he describes as a real boxing hotbed. Hotbed describes a scene down there as tough and competitive. And that they get fervent support from the fans who really love their sweet science. Here he is representing South Africa, many miles away from home in Russia on this Champions Night of Boxing in the IBA Pro Series. International Boxing Day tomorrow, of course, in IBA Boxing. And that Boxing Day can time to coincide with the first World Championship celebrations. That first World Championships in Havana in 1974 was staged in August. That is why International Boxing Day has been implemented for this time of year. Minute gone in this third round. As for Hariton Agraba, he was actually born in Georgia. Spent his early childhood in the native town of Gagra before the family moved north to the city of Volgod, Omsk in, Rostov, in the Rostov region of Russia. Backing his man into the corner and again getting the better of these exchanges. You can see that Ndongeni knows what he's doing. But look at that attempted cluster of punches, not finding the range of any of them. Only gloves and forearms being tagged by the South African boxer. There's a good right hand to the body, but it's countered immediately by left hand to the body and then cracking right hand upstairs during that fusillade of punches from Agarba. So again, having the final word in these exchanges, cluster of punches without reply. There's a corkscrew right hand from Ndongeni. And this characteristic of the gameness that he showed 
when being outpointed by Devin Haney on the night where he lost his oath, defeated for the first time in 26 professional contests that evening against the peerless Devin Haney. But with 30 seconds remaining in the third round, he's being bested here by Hariton Agarba, who's giving away nothing with his facial expressions and wasting very little movement in that right hand, just caused Ndongeni to walk away. And the pressure being increased now by the front foot presence of Hariton Agarba. Good right jab to the body. Trying to counter with the left jab of his own downstairs was Ndongeni. He just got in a little bit of a tangle. Now he's trying to get on the front foot. But again, he's inaccurate with his work. Takes an elbow to the chin from Agarba as he was defending himself. So three rounds completed. And for my money, it's Agarba who has taken all of them. Remember, five scoring judges using the 10-point must system will be scoring this one to declare the winner in the event that it goes to points. And again, I mentioned the fact that Agarba just seemed to be able to position Ndongeni where he wants him to be. Beautiful counter-right jab from Agarba. When the boxers attempt to exchange because of Agarba's superior accuracy, he's getting the better of the trade-offs. So into the fourth round then. Mention the fact that when he was a young boy, Agarba's family moved to the Rostov region of Russia. He's actually got a master's degree from Rostov State University of Economics. Father first took him to the boxing gym at 10 years old. And as often happens when youngsters walk into the gym, coach gives them an instruction and then will go off and help other youngsters. So the first coach of Agarba gave him straight punches to do, went off to help other youngsters in the gym, came back 40 minutes later and Agarba was still throwing straight punches. He scores with a good left hand over the top. Coach said, what are you doing? He said, I'm doing what you told me. And that was throwing straight punches for 40 straight minutes. Said he was in agonizing pain. But he carried out the task, and from that moment, the coach paid a great deal of attention to him and that he's been able, how he's been able to rise, of course, with his talent and work ethic through the Russian system. And now box his way to an undefeated ledger in the professional ranks. Had a lengthy, extensive career in the unpaid code of three-round boxing. More than 400 fights under his belt. And to give you an idea of how the, the heights to which he reached, two-time silver medalist in the Russian National Championships. And on both occasions, it was the outstanding figure of Andrei Zamkovoy who bested him. Andrei Zamkovoy, the 2019 IBA World Championship gold medalist, as Agaba scores with a left hand and then hooks and uppercuts on the inside. That was in the 2017 and 18 Russian National Championships at 69 kilograms. Andrei Zamkovoy preventing Agarba from taking top spot on the podium. So now Agarba, having enjoyed success, just content to get up on his toes and remain beyond punching range, but then he holds his feet and lets the two-shot combination go. Didn't quite find the range. for Zolisani Ndongeni, he compiled a 30 and 4 ledger in three round, the three round format of what used to be known as amateur boxing. And after losing in the national championships, turned professional in 2010 at 20 years of age. And his journey into the sweet science of boxing started when a cousin first took him to the boxing gym. So often the case that it's a family member and elder sibling or a mother or father oh that's a nice roundhouse left and it brings about a standing count from the referee Ivana Ugranovic Six. roundhouse Seven. southpaw Eight. left catching Solani Solisani and Dongeni on an unprotected chin and it brings about a standing count 
perfect punctuation point to the penultimate round for Hariton Agarba. Well, some of the action and again wonderful punch picking such accuracy from Agarba and that with the overhand left which caught Ndongeni as he was loading up dipped his knees and the referee did not hesitate to intervene and issue a standing eight count. So for my money, as we go into the fifth and final round, Zolisani Ndongeni of South Africa needs a stoppage here if he hopes to inflict the first defeat on the professional record of Hariton Agarba. And again, Agarba just continuing to touch his man up just as he demonstrated against Devin Haney. Tolisani and Dongeni, no quit in the man whatsoever. He remains competitive. He's just in the ring with an opponent who, despite having less experience in the professional code, knows a little bit too much. And again, look at the manner in which he's able to maneuver Dongeni back towards the ropes, keeping his foot on the outside for the most part of Dongeni cutting off the South African boxer's potential avenues of escape. There and Nongeni looking to turn the tables, but his balance, well, it's been disrupted frequently, particularly when he's been loading up on his own punches, he's bringing his back leg round often. And he just cannot tag Hariton Agarba cleanly. Turning his back once again. So it's proven to be a very difficult Head mission up. Head up. for the man from South Africa. And again, an idea of the spread of the sport of boxing, the reach of the sport of boxing, and indeed of the IBA Champions Night Pro Series, because we've got boxers from five continents represented tonight. Europe, Asia, North America, South America, and Africa. Beautiful uppercut then, overhand right from Agarba. Ndongeni remaining in pursuit of his man. hasn't been able to land solidly for, the for practically the entirety of the contest. So closing seconds of this final round, <laughs> shaking his head after he made Agarba miss, but I think there can be little doubt that it's going to be Hariton Agarba, who will be declared a unanimous point decision victor here. Zolisani Ndongeni of South Africa never stopped battling, never stopped believing he could win, but he wasn't able to find a range on a consistent enough basis to make Hariton Agarba uncomfortable. He was the one who controlled proceedings. That's the impression I was left with, with his ring generalship. Zolisani Ndongeni shaped up nicely but his work was too inaccurate, his punches too infrequent to disrupt the concentration or the flow of Hariton Agarba. So some of the action from this welterweight bout, right from the off, his placement of his feet, his use, a shot selection, 
judgment of distance. Manner in which he's able to change angle in front of his man. Hariton Agarba showing wonderful variety and terrific composure during the course of that contest. And that was the overhand left that brought about a standing count. At the expense of Zolisani Ndongeni. judge's decision we'd like to kindly take a moment and invite a very special guest into the center of the ring please put your hands together as we bring forward our board of director member right here at the international boxing association mr yusuf al khazim This bout was proudly sponsored by Liga Stavak. Ladies and gentlemen, our general sponsor, Vechera Boxing Noche Champion of IBA, Liga Stavak. And now for the official judge's decision. After completing the round for three minutes in a welterweight 67 kg matchup, all your judges see it the same way. Ruling in favor of your winner by points, declared by unanimous decision. So Hariton Agarba extends his perfect ledger to 12 fights undefeated. In his second contest of 2023, he makes it back-to-back -back victories over South African boxers. Having bested Prince Glomo in March of this year in Yekaterinburg, he beats his compatriot Zolistani Ndongeni with a unanimous point decision verdict here in Serpukov on this night but champions night of boxing in the iba pro series very good display indeed never seriously troubled and he controlled matters very effectively indeed with his ring generalship his positioning and his